We've talked about the sine and cosine functions. Now I want to talk about the tangent function. The tangent function was defined in uh, right triangle trigonometry this way. Tangent theta equals the side opposite theta divided by the side adjacent to theta. So if this is theta, tangent theta is this length divided by this length, or y over x. But this definition only works for acute angles, angles between 0 and 90 degrees, because it's only defined this way on right triangles. So we need to find an extension of this definition that works for all angles, like we have for the sine and cosine. And that brings us to the unit circle. This is the unit circle definition of tangent. Remember, if I have an angle theta that's drawn in standard position so that its initial side is drawn on the positive x-axis and its terminal side crosses the circle at point P, the tangent of theta is defined to be y over x, where y and x are these coordinates. So the, the second coordinate divided by the first coordinate, that's the tangent of theta. Let's practice with this. This problem asks me to find the tangent of theta for each of these. Well, the tangent of theta here is going to be the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. So negative 3 fifths over negative 4 fifths. Well, that's 3 quarters. Tangent theta equals 3 quarters. Here, what's the tangent of theta? We have the two coordinates, x and y. Tangent theta is the y-coordinate, 12 over 13, divided by the x-coordinate, negative 5 over 13. This is going to give me 12 over negative 5, or negative 12 over 5. So the tangent theta is negative 12 over 5. Again, this is the unit circle definition of tangent y over x, where y and x are the coordinates of point P.